well surgeon dr ram ganesh sir and today i am going to discuss about the lymph node stations of the stomach so uh, first of all a diagram is showing uh, where uh, for the very simplified uh, purpose we have divided the stomach into four components and there are actually four uh, group of the lymph nodes first is the superior gastric uh, group of lymph nodes which drain into the left gastric and the pericardial so in the same way we have got the supra pyloric group of lymph nodes which drain into the right uh, supra pancreatic group of lymph nodes then on the uh, greater curvature side we have got the pancreaticko linal uh, group of the lymph nodes which drain into the left gastro epiploic and the splenic lymph nodes then uh, in the inferior group uh, which is the sub pyloric group it drains into the right gastro epiploic group uh, one thing amazing uh, here uh, that all of these uh, four groups of the lymph nodes they drain into ultimately into the celiac uh, group of the lymph nodes okay so this was the very simplified concept here uh, this picture is uh, taken from the uh, natter and here uh, the same four groups are being shown supra pyloric sub pyloric then uh, we have got the superior gastric and the pancreaticko linal group of lymph nodes all of these uh, lymph nodes they drain into the celiac trunk and after that it drains into the right thoracic duct so this is the right thoracic duct sorry i am uh, able to mark this at this point i am precisely marking this now it might drain into the cisterna gallia or directly into the uh, uh, right thoracic duct then we have the concept of the when uh, we talk about the staging purpose we divide uh, lymph nodes into n1 n2 n3 and further n Three is divided into N three A and N three B. So, what's the N one? If one to two lymph nodes are involved, it is N one. If three to six are being involved, it's N two. If more than seven are involved, then it's N three. And then, if involved lymph node stations are seven to fifteen, then it's three A. And if lymph node stations involved are more than sixteen, then it's three uh, B. And uh, we will discuss. from 1 to 16 every uh, lymph node station and this is a bit very complicated diagram when we will study it it will become very easy it will become palatable initially it seems uh, very difficult here i am going to show you that uh, what is d1 lymph adenectomy it's the involvement of the perigastric nodes station 1 to 7 then we have got the extended d2 lymphadenectomy which involves the perigastric plus celiac and uh, plus minus uh, splenectomy is there and it includes the station 1 to 12a then we have got the super extended d3 lymphadenectomy in which perigastric celiac and the periaortic lymph nodes they are being involved and it includes the station 1 to 16 that's all the stations now i am going to show you uh, the table it is uh, taken from the sebaston initially it seems uh, difficult uh, to remember it but uh, first of all you will divide this table into three parts then it will become very easy for you uh, to remember so i am changing the color for the second from 8a to 12a okay then again i am changing the color from 12b to 16 okay so first of all uh, from station 1 to st uh, station 7 that's the d1 lymph adenectomy how will you remember this it's very easy just draw the stomach okay and now uh, you will start uh, from here right pericardial left pericardial then you will come into the lesser curvature then uh, you will draw the spleen here and the short gastric 
after that left gastroepiploic then you have got the right gastroepiploic then you will come across the uh, pyloric region supra pyloric region infra pyloric region and at the end the major artery that's the right uh, gastric artery so it's very easy to remember you will start from the right pericardial left pericardial then uh, you will move towards the lesser curvature then for sa sb and d that's the short gastric left gastroepiploic and right gastroepiploic then you will come across the uh, pyloric region supra pyloric infra pyloric and at the last a uh, left gastric so it's very easy to remember you will start from one side and you will move in the uh, clockwise direction and then again uh, again uh, on to the greater curvature and then at the end pyloric region and finally at the end the largest artery which is uh, rising from the aorta that's the left gastric artery so it's becomes very simple then we come uh, from 8a to 12a it's again it's very simple first 8a is anterior common hepatic p is posterior common hepatic uh, i must show you the diagram here here at this point 8a that's the anterior common hepatic 8p is the posterior common hepatic then again uh, going to the same we have got the celiac trunk now Okay, uh, I have copied that. I must delete it. Okay. Now, uh, where we were uh, reaching? Then after that, we are going to the splenic area. And after that, uh, splenic hilum is there, which is ten. Then we have a uh, got the lemon P. That's the proximal splenic. then we have got the 11d that's the distal uh, splenic okay then we will uh, come to the 12 uh, 12 is 12a and 12p okay exactly at this side and at this side basically this is the hepatodural a is anterior hepatodural sorry that's the left hepatodural i was wrong exactly at this point and then we have got the 12b that's the posterior hepatodural exactly at this spot then after that 13 it's the retropancreatic and now we have got the 14 v and 14 a it's related to the superior mesenteric vessels v for the vein a for the artery then we have got the 15 that's the middle colic and 16 a l that's the aortic hiatus basically aortic hiatus it's not in the diaphragm it's in the aorta anteriorly then we have got the para aortic middle and para aortic caudal so it's very simple hope uh, you have remembered these things so again going to this diagram hope finally now uh, let's mark all these stations so what is station 1 it's the right pericardial okay what station 2 it's the left pericardial where is station number 3 i have told you that it's in the lesser curvature lesser curvature okay Where is 4SA? That's the short gastric. 4SB. That's the left gastroepiploic. 4D. That's the right gastroepiploic. And where is 5? Uh, 
let's uh, let us search uh, for the five. So what was five? Five was supra pyloric. Okay. So we will go into the pyloric. So exactly at this point, this is the supra pyloric, and very six. That's the uh, sub pyloric. That's the supra. So uh, D one on the eight A. That's the anterior common hepatic. 8p that's the posterior common hepatic 9 itself it's celiac 10 it's the splenic hilum then we have got the 11 p that's the proximal splenic 11 d distal uh, splenic then after that we have got the 12 a and 12 p it's related to the hepatodurinal 12 a It's the left hepatodurinal and 12P that's the posterior hepatodurinal. Then we have got the 13 that's the retropancreatic. Then we have got the 14 uh, which is 14A and 14V. A is for artery, V is for vein. So it's related to the superior mesenteric vein and it's related to the superior mesenteric artery so now uh, 15 uh, where is 15 15 basically it's related to the middle colic and at the end see, we have got the 16 16 it's related to the aorta first is 16 AL which is now uh, related to the aortic hiatus then we have got 16 A to B1 which is related to the para aortic but uh, middle then we have got the 16 B at the end which is again para aortic but it's caudal so this was all about the lymph node stations Hope you have understood all the things. So let's remove all the things. Hope so uh, you will be you will be easy able to mark all these stations. If you like our content, if you learned something from our videos, then do subscribe by clicking on the red button below. So thank you so much.